Well, deadly viruses in dogs like Parvo can spread quickly. Keeping dogs vaccinated is especially important at animal shelters, but most dogs don't come with vaccination records. News source Ashley Collins shows us how one local animal shelter is using international technology to solve the problem. Normally, a dog like Rachel here would be put on an immediate five-day medical hold. But now, thanks to a new rapid vaccine test, we know that Rachel has all of her necessary vaccinations and she'll be ready for adoption even sooner. 80-plus percent of our animals that we get in here come from animal services or a rural animal control agency. We just don't know, you know what, their, what their history is. So SBCA of Northern Nevada Executive Director Tom Jacobs says it used to be standard to vaccinate every dog for parvo, distemper, and hepatitis just in case. Until they became the first clinic in Northern Nevada to use VaxiCheck to screen for those antibodies. So we're ahead of the game. We're we're jumping way ahead of it to, to make sure that animal is healthy and safe. BioGal Labs out of Israel developed the technology, and Marketing Vice President Lenny Small says it's being used in 30 countries and was approved in the U.S. two years ago. It's a real paradigm shift in terms of what we are now being able to do. Small says with a small blood sample and a testing kit, they can check for the diseases quickly and easily. We're able to determine within 21 minutes which dogs have been vaccinated, which dogs haven't been vaccinated, and which dogs, according to the symptoms they're carrying, might also be carrying the disease. Spectrum Labs heads U.S. distribution of VaxiCheck, and CFO Marty Locke says this is an important tool for veterinarians, too, especially for annual booster shots. And if they have adequate antibody and protection, you don't and should not be automatically vaccinating every year. And Locke says over-vaccination can be dangerous. There's been some literature and research that says too much vaccination also at the same time has some serious side effects and can be very harmful to the pet. Right now, VaxiCheck is only available for dogs, but they expect that the USDA will approve the cat version in the very near future. For more information on the program and the SBCA, visit our website at mynews4.com. Reporting from Reno, Ashley Collins, News 4.